One night, I was alone in the library, finishing up my assignment. Since I'm a night owl, I often find myself in this position, late at night in the library, with absolutely no one around except for the security guard who occasionally comes by. As I was busy doing my work, a pale woman appeared in front of me. I didn't notice when or how she got there. She stood stiffly a few meters in front of me and was dressed in a long, white dress. Not what a typical student would wear, but I brushed it off. She asked if she could join me at my table, and I kindly obliged. I found it odd that she didn't have a laptop or any books or stationery with her. Plus, there were so many other tables to sit at, and she still decided to join me. The creepy thing was, she kept staring at me with those deep, dark eyes as she sat silently at the corner of the table. Being the polite girl I am, I did not call her out and resumed my work while trying my best to avoid eye contact. As time passed, she still kept staring at me. I can feel her gaze burning into me and it made me increasingly uncomfortable up to a point where I lost the grip on my pen, causing it to fall off the table. Oops, I exclaimed. As I bent down to pick up the pen from under the table, I noticed something that caused my blood to freeze. The woman did not cry With a million thoughts running through my head, I tried my best to stay composed and not to alert the floating woman. With shaking hands, I quickly packed all my items in my backpack. Then, the woman spoke to me for the first time in a while. Kamanakao, in a soft yet eerie voice. Kanbalik, in a cracking voice while avoiding eye contact and trying my best to hide my panic. I hear sudah, karang ingaw indung po. I lied. At this point, my hands were shaking so much, I was struggling to put all my items inside my bag promptly. What the woman said next sent a chill down my spine. Kan balik ka atau kau kau tahu sudah? She shrieked, her voice now shrill and demonic. Her face began to move far from the woman I saw earlier. I began to bolt right out of there. As I ran for my life with tears streaming down my face as this could be my impending doom, the creepy laughter filled the whole library and echoed in my ears. I didn't dare look back, but my curiosity got the better of me. I glanced back and saw that the woman was gaining on me with ease. I could feel my heart pounding fast against my chest and my vision started to blur as I was just a few steps from the exit. Then, everything went dark. My eyes fluttered open and the library ceiling slowly came into view. The security guard was kneeling next to me and called out to me repeatedly. Luckily, he found me while he was doing his nightly rounds. As I slowly got up, I was dazed by my situation. I began to think to myself, was it all a dream? Or does the library actually have a dark history? Needless to say, I will never set foot in the library alone late at night again.